Hello and welcome. I'm going to show you how to take an audio file and produce or remove a noise in it. That can be some static noise picked up by the microphone or it can be wind noise because you're recording outside, for example. Let's take a listen. This boat ride is really exciting. This is a real boat ride with real wind and not my fan totally trying to simulate some noise in the environment. So this is a totally real noise recording and we're gonna try to make the voice more clear, easier to listen to. We're going to do this in three steps. Let's start by selecting some pure noise where we only have noise and no voice. Just gonna extend this a little. Right, this section seems to be good, so let's go to Effects, Noise Reduction, and select Capture Noise Print. We can also hit Shift P for that. Alright, this uh, pop up will show up. I would leave it on so you know that this actually happened. And if we press Shift P on the keyboard, it will also happen. The next step is to deselect the little selection and then go to Effects, Noise, and then we need to use noise reduction process. This is Control Shift P as a shortcut. We can click here or we can just hit Control Shift P, probably Command Shift P on the Mac. In case this shows up, apparently this shows up when you use an FFT size of non standard numbers. I think 4096 is the default. Anyways, if this shows up, then you have to select the noise once again and hit Shift P for example, and then confirm. Deselect and then hit Control shift p Okay, so here we have a nice interface for noise reduction. We can change how strongly the noise gets reduced and we can change how much quieter the noise is supposed to be. I think I'm going to set this to 18. You can play around with these values as you like. Precision factor will make it uh, slower to process, but should give you a better result. If you think that the numbers you picked might be too extreme, you can just go back to default. But then you might have to reselect the noise again. Let me just do that real quick. Here we go, Shift P, click away and Control Shift P. And let's just apply this. Already we can hear much less noise in the noise part, but this could be less. This boat ride is really exciting. This is a real boat ride with... And if we undo this with Ctrl Z... This boat ride is really exciting. This is a real boat ride... We notice that there is a little reduction, but it's very slight. So let's see. Ctrl Shift P again. We're going to increase the noise reduction to 100%. We're going to reduce the noise by 32 dB. And let's see. Smoothing. Let's increase the smoothing. And uh, precision factor, sure, 32. Let's use a max. Not sure what this is. Determines the range between what is noise and what remains. A transition width of zero applies to a sharp noise gate curve to each frequency band. I guess we can leave this at zero. All right, let's hit apply. And let's take a listen. Obviously, there's much less noise in the beginning, as you can see. This boat ride is really exciting. This is a real boat ride with real wind and not my fan. So this is much more effective. Okay, so this is a totally not fake recording of noise while I'm talking. But here in the back we still have a lot of clipping from the wind. So let's try to fix that with another solution. For that let's enable in view, show spectral frequency display. We can also use Shift D. Alright, and we can zoom in here with control mouse wheel to see the lower frequencies better. Let's do that and let's select after we zoom out to the full width of a file, let's select the lower area here. And let's play it back from about here. With the mouse you can increase the range. The hope is to catch this clipping sound. You can now hit the delete key 
And now we can listen to the result. Okay, so this is a totally not fake recording of noise while I'm talking. So you can experience a full environmental sound and real experience. Very nasal sounds of a voice now, but if we undo this step and restore the previous status, let's listen to this again. Okay, so this is a totally not fake recording of noise while I'm talking. And control shift Z to recreate this uh, situation. Recording of noise while I'm talking. So you notice now that there is somewhat of an enhancement uh, by re really removing these lower bands while I'm talking so you can experience a full environmental but of course as it is always with noise reduction it cannot be perfect if there's too much interference it is much easier with continuously identical sounds like a beep the final third step we can do is add an equalizer let's go on the left hand side and effects rack go to filter and EQ and set parametric equalizer and here we're going to select the vocal enhancer and we can listen in on the sound fake recording of noise while i'm talking so you and can experience change the full environment the curve sound and real experience as we listen to it synergy of noisy audio recordings that you can remove noise from in audition insert software name here i suppose Tell my family I, I like to remove noise from audio recordings. While I'm talking, so you can experience a full environmental... Well, you can use the equalizer to maybe reduce the damage you made with the two steps beforehand. You can also disable the equalizer if you don't like it. Once you're done, you just have to save a file. Go to File, Save As, and check out this notification. If you want the EQ to actually be applied, you have to press Apply. There we go. And now we can go to File and Save As. And the default should be just fine. So just press OK. And it's done. I hope this was useful. Please subscribe to support this channel. And I will see you next time. Until then, ciao!